stand still, you dog, or I'll cut one of your feet off. Ah! Stop it, Jeffrey! Why don't you pick on some of your own size? I, I don't know anyone my own size, you dog. You see if I'll stick up for you next time someone says you're an ugly old freak. You mean I'm not, you thieving mongrel? No, not because you ain't, but because Kit Nubbles says so. <laughs> uh, dear Kit. <laughs> Honest Kit. Almost too honest to live unless he's careful of himself. Honest kid said that, did he? <laughs> Little Nell's faithful dog. <laughs> well, here's something for you, kid, for telling the truth. <laughs> Ask anyone who knows me, and they'll tell you I'm as friendly as a poor constrictor sleeping off his lunch. <laughs> Do I raise my hand to every child that calls me Hunchy Monster as I have the bailiff drag him off to jail? Never do I shout and rage at every mangy dog that tries to bite me when I try to tie a tin can to his tail. Not likely. And do I burn with anger every time some woman faints as I stoop to give her stupid hand a kiss? Rubbish! Or seek male satisfaction from each yahoo on the block who owes me three weeks' rent and gives me this? He wouldn't dream of it. Ah! I'm as gentle as a fall of summer rain. And my kindness would put Santa Claus to shame. I'm Quilp, Quilp. You can call me Daniel. Scruffier than a spaniel. Slippery as an eel, the real McQuilp. Of fame, as cunning as a weasel. Well! Every little breeze whisper my name. Hear him my home from home by the rat-infested river. I deliver smuggled wares, have a hot Havana. Here I dine alone on a load of rum and kippers, cheating on myself at solitaire. King of hearts is Mr. Dan. Dan! Quilpish to the backbone, stab you in the backbone, stinkier than a skunk, the smallest hunk of crime since Borgia did her grooming. And though to err is human, to quilp is divine. So if by some odd fluke you're looking for a villain, stoop a little lower and you're looking at a real and I'm dirty damn. The bottom of the barrel, if it's nasty and immoral, it's quilp. C'est moi, le quilp, Napoleon of scoundrels. Why don't you stick around? You love all of my burglar friends. Stupenda quilp, the louse, as artful as a jaybird. Just a bird of prey bird waiting to pounce. I'm just a no-count skunk who has sunk as low as one can. I'm a one-man plague of bats. When I sold my soul to the devil Monday morning, by Tuesday he was trying to give it back. He's a friend of mine. <laughs> Hurrah! Hurrah! For Quilp! For Quilp! Quilp the first of England! Quilp the curse of England, slimier than a toad. The road to Quilp is strewn with horrible intentions. Weirdos without pensions hurled from their rooms. And if the law comes round and I think they got my number, I'll look them in the eye and say, as quilp as a cucumber, how do you do? I'm very pleased to meet you. I'm that fascinating creature called quilp. Call me master. Blimey, what a bastard. What a delightful youth. A bit uncouth. Although a boy is just a pagan, says my old friend Fagan, and he ought to know. Although his wife sat home, he disowns her for the ladies in the country after dark. And we have such fun picking four-leaf poison ivy. He's really just a pussycat at art. Step aside for Mr. Quilp. What ho! Although it doesn't look it, I'm so blinking crooked, I have to screw on my socks. A pox 
on those who say the wages of sin are lonely. They're the only wages that always get paid. And you won't get none of the money under my roof. You can't take it with you, cos you'll never get it by proof. Do you ping I'll cut my name on you. Well, no, <laughs> get, get off! It's Nell. Nell. Look, Tom. You lovely little creature. I'm always pleased to meet you. 